But I think if you'd have watched my review of the QPR game a couple of weeks ago, um, you've probably got a pretty good idea of how this video is going to go. Um, Blackburn Rovers 1, Norwich City 1. Um, the Canaries taking the lead to be pegged back in the second half, conceding to a header. Um, the unbeaten run continues for the Canaries, but I think the overriding feeling here is one of slight frustration that we've not been able to pick up all three points. Look, Blackburn are a, are a really funny side. I think when we played them at Carrow Road and they, well, played us off the park, really, um, they looked quite fluid and um, quite exciting. And, and, and that's not really what they're about anymore. I've been really disappointed with them over the past month or so. They came into this game in, in pretty stinking form. Um, it was a game that Wagner and I'm sure his players would have looked at and gone, yeah, this is a really good opportunity to kick on and 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 back up what was a really great week at Carrow Road last week. Eight goals, six out of six points, um, firmly put us in the top six kind of race. And if you're, if you're a believer in momentum, then this felt like, um, a game that you would kind of continue that going. The lineup was 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 as expected, really. Um, Gibson was fit, so returning to the squad, he was alongside Hanley, Science, um, Sarah, and Fastnack were the three in behind Josh Sargent and um, Ashley Barnes. Apparently fatigued, so um, so he didn't start. Sarah pushed into the ten, McLean and Nunez. Um, so. Starting eleven, fine, and we looked really good first half for 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 for, for, for parts. Um, I was I was about to say the entire half we didn't, and Angus Gunn actually kept us in it. Um, he made three great saves um, in that first half um, to keep us ahead. It was a brilliant um, Marcelino Nunez free kick that that did put us ahead in the twenty second minute. Unsavable top corner. Delighted for Nunez because he's been. I've I've, I've not questioned Nunez's talent, but. In terms of his effectiveness in this side, I've questioned. I felt like he's drifted um, in games and, and maybe not had the impact that we thought he would. Um, last couple of weeks, he's been really good. Um, he's almost played a, a, a sometimes a touch deeper. And I think he's almost a, quite effective in terms of that kind of sweeping role. He's obviously got talent in, in front of um, goal, as we've seen with that free kick. I think he scored a similar one against... Was it Hull last season? Um, and, and he hasn't scored, I don't think, in the league for, for about a year. So important to see Nunez on the score sheet and, and, and different players contributing. We're going to need that from now until the end of the season. And at that point, there were chances to, to go, you know, two, three nil ahead. And it didn't come. Um, a, a kind of mixture of slightly sloppy finishing, slight complacency in front of goal. And, and you did always feel that it could be one of those games that we might regret not taking our chances still though you'll you'll be happy with um with a 1-0 scoreline going in at the break and and the thing that i didn't see today that i was really pleased with on saturday against cardiff and to be honest i'd put cardiff and blackburn in a similar bracket of quality i think they're both quite poor championship teams um the, the the pleasing thing against Cardiff was the relentlessness about the performance. There was a even a you know two nil we wanted a third at three nil we wanted a fourth at fourth, you know we wanted a fifth. It didn't feel like that today. It felt like once we went one ahead, and the game started to drift a little bit, we were almost accepting of of our lot and just trying to hang on at that stage. And look, I'm sure that Wagner's tactics today compared to last week. And his messaging to the team was fairly similar and it just hasn't played out that way. But that's the way I kind of viewed it as a, as a consumer of, of this game. And, and we've been like that a lot away from home this season. Look, our away form is, is just simply not good enough. We've only won four times away from home all season. That is not form that will propel you into the top six. And this felt like an opportunity to add a, a fifth away win of the season. It was a really sloppy goal to concede. It was a a header unmarked in the six-yard box. You know, blame your new list for giving away the corner. Blame Hanley for not picking up the header. Blame Stacey for not picking up the header. Collectively, it just simply wasn't good enough. I'm, I'm not going to start blaming individuals on, on this. I just can't be bothered. Um, but collectively, you know, we shouldn't be conceding those types of goals. And Angus Gordon said in his post about this interview that it's unlike us we haven't you know haven't been too bad at conceding um at, at defending set pieces this season and on the whole i'd agree but in this type of game you know blackburn's kind of real threat was was aerially um to concede that type of goal was 
was really disappointing. And the reason it has the feel of that QPR point is that, you know, we've gone ahead and then maybe the substitutions are, are, are slightly negative. Now, Wagner's hand was forced somewhat um, after Nunes um, went off injured. Um, looks like a hamstring injury. Let's hope that's not too serious because, as I said earlier on in the video, he's been important to the way that we've played um, last couple of weeks. But, it, you know, 85 minutes on the clock, opportunity to, to maybe go and win the game. And the three players that you bring on are Sam McCallum, Jakob Sorensen and Liam Gibbs. Now, you've got a player in Sydney Van Hooydonk on the bench um, that, well, at the moment, struggling to see why we sign because he's just not getting an, an opportunity and you're not going to get match fit by sitting on the bench. And that is the argument from David Wagner at the moment is that he's not match fit. My argument would be, why would you sign an unfit player in January? I will let the um, the people at, at Norwich City respond to that. Um, but that's, a I think, a, a huge frustration for fans at the moment is why are we not seeing Sidney Van Hooydonk you know, even brought on, but actually Barnes brought on ahead of him. Um, and considering that, uh, I think Wagner said that he was feeling slight fatigue, that will be frustrating. Look, I've moaned and I've grown for a lot of this season, and I think justifiably. But I'm kind of at the point now that as long as we're not losing football matches, and look, performances like we've seen today aren't going to get us into the top six, but we're not going to win every week. You know, Hull, um, Hull Drew, West Brom Drew. Um, they were playing each other, so obviously they both drew. Um, Coventry lost, so you know teams in and around us aren't winning. Sunderland um, got beat, so it, it's still very tight. We're still only three points behind the top six. You know it can all change. And actually, looking at our fixtures, it's they're they're, they're fairly favourable. Um, we've got Sunderland at Carrow Road uh, on Saturday. We then go to Middlesbrough. Then it's Rotherham, Stoke, Plymouth. Really, you know, you're looking at those next five games, you should be winning all five. And I know I've just said that, you know, we're not going to win every week, but I think if you win those next five games, you've got a real chance of top six this season because then it gets a little bit trickier. You've got an away trip to Leicester, then it's Ipswich, then it gets slightly easier again. And actually, the run in from barring those two games are fairly um, simple again Sheffield Wednesday, Preston, Bristol City, Swansea, Birmingham. Again, a group of games that you should be winning. So I'm kind of okay. This unbeaten run continues. 2-1 win against Co um, Coventry. Then it was the draw against um, QPR. Convincing wins against um, Watford and Cardiff. And now the draw to Blackburn today. Um, I'm kind of okay with that. And actually, you look at the away form, if you take it as a collective over the past, I don't know, 10 games, um, it's not been too bad. Now, I'm certainly not you know, condoning and justifying the performance that we saw today, because in parts it wasn't good enough. But it wasn't terrible, and we haven't lost the game. And, and actually, at this moment in time in the season where we know the manager's not going to get sacked, the squad is what it is, for, for, uh, you know, at the moment, that's not going to change from now until the end of the season. I'm still of the belief that this squad is good enough to get into the top six. We just have to support these players, and <laughs> whether we like it or not... Support the um, support the actions of, of of David Wagner and the way that he sets this team up and, and deploys the team. I think the frustrating thing for me is, you know, we've seen literally in the last week that we are capable of really exciting things. That performance against Cardiff was really good. The performance for large parts against Watford was really good. Why can we seemingly not replicate that away from home? We just go really stodgy and defensive all of a sudden when we're not at Car Road and. And that's somewhat confusing. It's the same set of players against a similar um, quality of outfit. And yet time and time again, we just look really timid and meek when we're not at our, you know, at our own stadium, which is really confusing. As I say, a, a big couple of weeks ahead, Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Rotherham. Again, three games where we should be going unbeaten. Be looking at a minimum of seven points from those if we really are serious about top six. Um, the games are running out now. There's not too long left of this season. I'm sure many will say that this was a must-win game today, um, and to a you know degree that we should have been winning. Um, a point isn't the worst in the world. Performances do need to improve. Certainly, the away form needs to improve, um, but still very much in the hunt. Um, and look. 
nothing's changing from now until the end of the season. So it's either we 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 get behind the boys and, and and we and we give it everything, or we don't. And whichever you choose, I will respect. Norwich have drawn one one with Blackburn Rovers at Ewood Park. Marcelino Nunez, the scorer. Let me know what you thought of the game down in the comment section below, and I'll catch up with you all again very soon. Bye bye.